bedside manners and is very attentive to patients. She is also the recipient of the Lambda Beta Honor Society Award, which will now be presented to her by Ms. Pratalina, the RT, or Respiratory Therapy Program Director. to her classmates and to the instructors alike. So she, can you hear me? Yeah. There we go. Hi everyone, my name is Elena Bracciolina. I'm the program director for the respiratory therapy program at Pima Medical Institute. So today um, I will be presenting Susanna with a very special award. Susanna has been an absolute inspiration to her classmates and instructors since she started the program. And today I have the, the privilege of publicly acknowledging her contribution to the respiratory therapy profession. She will be joining the ranks of the top respiratory care practitioners in the country as a member of the Lambda Theta Honor Society for Respiratory Care. Susanna, congratulations and best wishes to you. I was not expecting this. <laughs> So hello everyone, I'm Susanna and I just graduated top of the class with national honors from the respiratory therapy program. I moved from Portugal to the US in 2013 with very little knowledge in English. So my first steps here in Seattle were at Lake Washington Institute learning English. The first time I was able to make small talk at the bakery in the supermarket, I felt so proud of myself. I knew it was nothing, but it was a baby step towards improvement. However, I wanted more than a baby step. I wanted to jump. So after about a year, I decided to, to try to find a job with my degree in cardiopulmonary physiology that I took back in my country. The disappointment came when I found out I could not work in my field without having a degree taken here. So then the question was, do I pick a different area or do, do I go back to school? Well, I'm a big dreamer and I have to be doing something that will fill my heart. So I guess you already figured what option I picked. Picking that option was easy, but then more questions and fears came with it. Do I have enough English to make it? Will I be able to read those gigantic books? Will I ever pass my boards? Even with all these in my head, I went forward and I started in March 2014 at Pima in the Respiratory Therapy Program. Today, I can tell you that this was one of the hardest things I have ever done. I worked really hard, I struggled, and I thought about giving up a lot of times. I thought that this was too much for me and I was not ready or able yet to do this. Every day, I was testing my limits, doing things that I never thought I could do. And as it got harder and harder, the more exciting it was. And I'm talking now about clinical rotations. That was another big challenge for me. But the ability that we have to change someone's life is priceless. All of us, we make a difference. Taking care of patients of all ages, assisting with their first breath in the delivery room and supporting them in their last breath. I just knew I wanted to do this. I want to help people and I want to learn more and more to be able to provide the best care. So if we want to be among the best, it cannot be easy to get there. That is why Pima was tough. I followed my dream and 22 months after, here I am today. I passed my national awards and I am a registered respiratory therapist. But of course, that all this would not be possible without the help of many people that I want to mention. Thank you to my husband, who had to support me all along. You were extremely patient. You always had positive thoughts and kind gestures. You just, you just want me to be doing what I love, and you made sure I never gave up. You always told me I would be standing here today. <laughs> I am blessed 
to have, to have someone like you as my partner in life. Thank you to my family, who I always talk with every day. It's amazing how much love and strength can be felt through a computer via Skype. Thank you for all the hours listening to my worries and doubts. You always believed on my potential since I know me as a person. You gave me such a great support during my baby steps that now I just can't think about jumping. It has been really hard for all of us being this far and I know how, how much you wanted to be here today. It is just one more day where we have to remember that when love is strong enough, distance doesn't really exist. Thank you to two special family members that I lost during this, this journey at Pima. I keep wondering how I could study and concentrate when the tears kept rolling down my face and the memories were all over my mind. I am sure you were pushing me and giving me strength to move forward and get to the end. I know, I know you both are proud of me today as well. Thank you to my friends who distracted me and always understood what I was going through, who are as excited as I am to see me here today. Yes, your friend is back. Thank you for the waiting. Thank you to our teachers and clinical preceptors for making us better professionals and for all the knowledge. Thank you, classmates, for making this learning experience such a great ride. Thank you, Pima, because three years ago, I did not have any job opportunities, and now I have a handful of them. Thank you for opening the doors to a bright future. Thank you to all of you for listening and being here with me sharing this day. The reason why I told you this story was because I am sure that it are, there are a lot of people here that felt the same way. So that is why on this day, we should remember this. It was tough, but we made it. We cried a couple of times, but we are here today. It was really stressful, but we got graduated today. So I want to congratulate you all for this incredible achievement and I wish you all the best in life. I am sure that now you'll have a lot of opportunities waiting for you. So, dream big, work hard, be passionate about your profession, and be happy, and share it among the ones who need it the most. Congratulations, thank you, obrigada.